by an orthonormal set v mean a set of vectors in an inner product space such that any two distinct vectors are orthogonal and norm of each vector is 1 in the last lecture we have discussed properties of orthonormal sets today we will discuss complete orthonormal sets we first define a complete orthonormal set a maximal orthonormal set in an inner product space is said to be a complete orthonormal set maximal orthonormal set means an orthonormal set which is not properly contained in any other orthonormal set of that inner product space that is if e lambda lambda belongs to capital lambda is an orthonormal set in an inner product space x where x is a non-zero space and if e lambda lambda belongs to capital lambda is not properly contained in any other orthonormal subset of x then this set is called a complete orthonormal set for example the set containing order tuples 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 is a complete orthonormal set in r cube this is um, an orthonormal set because any uh, two vectors are orthogonal to each other and norm of each vector is 1 and we cannot find any larger set of r cube which is also orthogonal and um, so we can say that this is a complete orthonormal but this is because this is maximal orthonormal set. Uh, but if we take any two vectors of this uh, that is if we take a set containing 1 0 0 0 1 0 then this is an orthonormal set but not a complete orthonormal set let us prove a theorem which states that every inner product space X, which is a non-zero space, has a complete orthonormal set. Means there always exists a complete orthonormal set in a non-zero inner product space. Let us prove this theorem. Let C be the family of all orthonormal sets in X, partially ordered by set inclusion. And so this c is a partially ordered set as x is a non-zero space so there exists a non-zero vector in x say small x since x is not equal to zero so norm of x is non-zero and so we can define a vector x divided by norm of x then the singleton set containing x divided by norm of x is an orthonormal set in x because its norm is 1 and there is no other vector in this set and so this family of orthonormal set c is non-empty consider any totally ordered subfamily in c totally ordered subfamily means any two members of that subfamily are related means if we to take any two members then uh, one of the member must be contained in the other member the union of sets in this subfamily is again an orthonormal set and so it is an upper bound of this totally ordered subfamily by zones lemma we know that if every totally ordered set of a non empty partially ordered set c dash has an upper bound then c dash has a maximal element here since this family c of orthonormal sets is a partially ordered set and this is a non-empty partially ordered set and in which any totally ordered set has an upper bound so this partially ordered set has maximal element means there exists a maximal or orthonormal set in x and that maximal orthonormal set means 
a complete orthonormal set. So there always exists a complete orthonormal set in X. Now we will prove a theorem related to complete orthonormal set, which states that let E lambda, lambda belongs to capital lambda be an orthonormal set in a Hilbert space H and let X belongs to H be arbitrary. Then this set E lambda, lambda belongs to capital lambda is a complete orthonormal set if and only if X is orthogonal to E lambda, lambda belongs to capital lambda implies X is equal to 0 means we have to prove that this set E lambda is a complete orthonormal set if and only if any vector which is orthogonal to each vector of this set must be zero vector. Let us prove this theorem. Let E lambda lambda belongs to capital lambda be a complete orthonormal set. Then we have to prove this condition one. If possible, Suppose one does not hold, means there exists some vector which is orthogonal to each lambda and that vector is not equal to zero. So there exists some x in capital H such that x is orthogonal to each vector of this orthonormal set. Since x is not equal to zero, so we can define a vector E is equal to x divided by norm of x since norm of x is not equal to 0, then norm of E is equal to 1 and inner product of E and E lambda is equal to inner product of x divided by norm of x and E lambda and this is equal to 1 divided by norm of x into inner product x and E lambda and since x is orthogonal to each E lambda, so here we have 0. And so this implies that E is orthogonal to each E lambda. In this way, we can find an orthonormal set containing E and all E lambdas of this orthonormal set. And uh, this is an orthonormal set because here vectors are orthogonal to um, each other and norm of each vector is 1. And this set, this orthonormal set properly contains uh, the set given set, orthonormal set E lambda, lambda belongs to capital lambda, which contradicts the fact that E lambda, lambda belongs to capital lambda. This set is a complete orthonormal set. And so our assumption is wrong. Hence, one must hold. Conversely, let X is orthogonal to E lambda. Lambda belongs to capital lambda implies X is equal to 0. And we have to prove that if this holds, then this uh, set E lambda lambda belongs to capital lambda is a complete orthonormal set. If possible, this set is not complete and if this is not complete, so there exists some vector E in H such that E and E lambda, lambda belongs to capital lambda. This set is an orthonormal set which properly contains the given orthonormal set of E lambdas. And so norm of E is equal to 1 because we are saying that this is an orthonormal set. So norm of E is equal to 1. And E is orthogonal to E lambda for each lambda belongs to capital lambda. But by our assumption, this assumption here too, E is equal to 0 because if any vector is orthogonal to each vector of this orthonormal set, then that vector must be equal to 0. And so we get E is equal to 0, which contradicts that norm of E is equal to 1. So we arrive at a contradiction. Hence, this set, this orthonormal set of E lambdas is a complete orthonormal set. Thank you.